there's so much emphasis on building new turf fields. There's emphasis on, you know, building sporting arenas or activities for kids to have something to do. And, you know, as a leader, as an educator, as a father, you're always trying to find what's an area for different kids or all kids to have inclusivity um, that they're proud about. So, you know, we could have did the typical, hey, let's throw a couple old school computers together or use the old computer lab. But what does that say to them? Hey, we're not invested in you. It says, hey, it's just another thing on the side. It's probably going to be bad to fade away. I, I highly doubt that. As the, as the world continues to move forward. So, you know, we went to the kids and said, hey, if we put together some kind of a space for you, what would you, would you like that? And right away, they, they became very excited. Um, and we didn't just stop at the arena. We also had them design their own, um, their own jerseys. So the kids designed the jerseys as well. On the exterior part of the arena as it's being built, we have a couple of our girls are artists, also artists. And they're painting Megalodon sharks and the abyss and all kinds of sea culture outside. Because like we told them, ultimately, when they step into that arena, we want to create that all like factor, like, wow, we're here. And we took it a step further, too, because the arena is built in part of our giant commons, an old library. We revamped that space. But we put a giant long wooden bar along there with hokey stools. So anybody, including parents, We'll be able to watch into the arena during the matches while they're going on once we get that in there. So we tried to look at it from so many different lenses. We looked at it from the player aspect. We looked at it from the multi-purpose aspect. And then we also looked at like, how do we get the community involved? How do we get families involved to watch them? How do we get kids in after school programs that you know are waiting for mom and dad to pick them up? Can they watch something? So we also put together, you know, six. 75 inch TVs around the room to watch the six top gamers play. Um, so like I said, it was all intentionality in the design process on how we were designing this arena. But ultimately we wanted to show the kids that, hey, we know that this is a space for you to feel comfortable in. We're gonna teach you cybersecurity. We're gonna teach you cyber awareness. We're gonna teach you marketing. We're gonna teach you Twitch. We're gonna teach you mer merchandising. We're gonna teach you all this stuff. And ultimately, sportsmanship, too, as a team. How do we build nutrition and how do we build sportsman-like uh, conduct in? And as I said, this is a space for all students, not just our premier athletes, not just our top scorers on tests. This is for all kids because everybody of different natures and backgrounds are gamers, whether they share it or not. So we really wanted to focus on them and give them something of, something of pride and to be, you know, something of a distinguished area so they know that once they leave us, they can go to a high school that has it. They know they can definitely go to a college that's going to have it. And I want something that, you know, they walk in every day going, wow, this is ours. We're proud of this. And we want to try to be better every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah.